Welcome to Tex Energy. Today we're going to give a demonstration on how to assemble the new Tex Energy 12 volt wind turbine, which comes in this very convenient travel case. When we open it up, we can then view all the components that we need to assemble. Now, the benefit of having the components laid out like this is that we can travel anywhere in the world with this device and it allows us the ability to charge mobile phones, laptops and other 5 volt, 9 volt and 12 volt devices. So with the whole unit laid out as we see, the first thing we do is we actually take out the main unit and this unit here actually houses the, um, the turbine inside and we lay that down and we remove at the bottom of it a butterfly nut which is how we're going to connect the tripod base plate. Now the tripod base plate it has a countersunk section in it and that's the bit that we need to make sure goes on to the bottom and fits. We then attach the butterfly nut to the unit and we make sure that the whole thing is really nice and finger tight and secure. Having done that, the next thing we want to do is we can remove the tail fin so that we've got access to the three lower parts of the tripod and lay those down. And what we want to attach to it is the plastic ground spikes, which three of these ground spikes and we simply slot them into the bottom and then we tighten up the nut at the bottom of each tripod pole. So having done that, we then take out the top part of the tripod. And again, there are three poles here. And one of the things that you'll notice as I'm putting this together is that um, we don't need any tools and we're able to do this um, in remote locations, in very cold conditions, and I have also done this with, with gloves on. So that's a huge benefit of not having to have any tools to put the unit together. So once we've got the top section in, lay it down, and then we put the bottom section in. And you can see now that the unit is beginning to tape shape. However, when it's like this, it's still um, in a state where you can actually disassemble it. So what we need to do is we need to secure the three parts of the tripod poles and we have a strap, this orange strap. It's got a metal clam cleat on the top. And what we do is we slide the cable through each of the brackets, which are attached to the side of the pole and uh, get it through the third one. And the most important part now is that we make sure that this part is really, really nice and secure because this is going to pull the whole tripod together. So we pull it together and that's now made it really secure. The tail of the strap, just tuck that away to make it nice and neat so it's not fluttering in, in the wind. So the whole unit now is ready for the final part of its assemble. So we put it up and what I'm going to do is make sure that if this was an outside, you can really push it down into the ground so that the earth comes up to the bottom of the tripods and we make it as secure as we can. But to ensure the security of it, you'll notice there are three cables, very similar to what you might have on a tent. The unit comes <coughs> with three ground pegs. You would simply put these in and push these down into the ground so that it makes the whole assembly nice and secure. You can enhance that by adding rocks, snow, sand, dirt, anything around the tripod to secure it in place. So the next thing we do is we take the tail fin. Now the tail fin has the Tex Energy logo on it Make sure it's um, up the right way because we don't want to assemble it upside down. So we ensure that that is located into the unit at the back of it and we put the locking pin into it and that secures the whole unit. 
So before we actually put the turbine blades onto it, we have to connect the electronics. So the 12 volt infinite air comes with a dongle and you just rotate it until it finds itself and can lock in and then you just twist the locking nut to secure it in place. Once again, just finger tight is good enough. Now, one of the things that we want to make sure is that the cable now that goes towards the dongle is in a secure place so that as it's rotating, it's not fluttering. So the unit comes with two Velcro straps and we simply put the Velcro straps around the unit to secure the cable. One at the top, one lower down, and that makes sure that the, the cable is secure. The Infinite Air 12 volt wind turbine comes with two cables. It comes with the Tex Energy 3-in-1 cable and a 2 meter USB-C to USB-C connector. So the first one is that you can connect from the micro USB to a lightning connector or alternatively to a USB-C connector. So to connect this to the dongle, you open the flap You connect that and then connect this to your device. You can only have one cable at a time connected. So if we want to use the USB-C cable, we remove the three and one and we take the USB-C connector and connect that. Now the advantage of this cable is it interrogates the device it's attached to and it'll actually work out which is the power it requires, either five, nine or 12 volts at a maximum of two amps. Now we're ready to do the best bit, the bit that I like, is actually adding the turbine blades. <clears throat> now, a lot of design went into this, to these blades, and the benefits are that, one, it's self-assembly, two, it packs down into a small shape, but you'll notice that there are two different components on each blade. The top part here is of a soft uh, composite silicon, so that if it was to accidentally um, hit anything, hopefully it won't do any, any damage. So the good thing is also that you can't put them in the wrong way because it has a knurled lug on it. There's only one way of putting them in, so you can't put them in upside down. Connect the three turbine blades into it. And then what we want to do is we want to just rotate it in a clockwise manner. And you'll notice that there is a knurled ring on the actual unit, which you can, with your fingers, hold in place and then just do the final bit to tighten the unit so it's really nice and tight and now we're ready to go so in a wind of um, anywhere between 8 and 12 miles an hour the actual unit will now start spinning and start generating power in anywhere you are in a remote location and power up your devices I hope that's been a really informative guide to how to assemble the new Tex Energy 12 volt wind turbine Thank you very much.